Welcome or welcome back on C Square. In this video clip, we're gonna talk about rotation around a point. In a previous video clip, we talk about rotation around the origin. This one is similar with the other one, however, uh, a little bit more complicated to be honest with you. Okay, um, and here you can see this uh, problem where you have the segment AB uh, given by the point A. Uh, with the coordinate uh, 5 and 3 and point B with the coordinate 1 and 7 and we're gonna rotate around the point R 2 and 1 and we have this six problem let's see how that works okay so the first problem is rotate the segment AB 90 degree around that rotation point which is 2 and 1 let's let's uh, start with point A first uh, and uh, to the point R. Let's plot these two points. Okay, so the point five and three. One, two, three, four, five. So as you see, I plot the two points, the point R A, which needs to be rotated around point R. 90 degrees if you notice I count on the screen uh, in order to go from point A to point R we need to move two units down and three left And uh, to get the ro rotation, we have to move two left and three up. That angle will be a 90 degree angle. So probably you notice already what the pattern is. The original segment RA or AR has a slope of two thirds positive two-thirds. The uh, new one, A prime R, has a slope of negative three halves. Okay, you see those two slopes are negative reciprocal. This is an, one way to remember how to do the movement to get the rotation around any point. So we can do similar for point B. So we, we plot the point B, which is 1 and 7. Again, I'm going to count the same way and see how far away point B is from R. So if you notice, uh, we need to move 6 units down and 1 to the right. The slope will be a negative. It's going down from left to right, 6 over 1. So the... Uh, Negative reciprocal will be 1 over 6. So from that point R, I need to move so we get a positive slope of 1 over 6. And again, we have kind of two cho uh, choices here. Uh, be careful trying to do it. Okay. 
there you go you notice now we have the point B prime or that allowed me to connect uh, a prime with B prime and get the segment a prime B prime and then the original on a B yes uh, it seems uh, that we did a good job with rotating a B 90 degree around R to get a prime B prime Rotated, rotated 180 degrees it's, is probably the easy one in uh, rotating around a point, uh, ro rotating around uh, a point that is not at the origin. So let's see this example. Uh, the same idea here, we can count uh, how far away point A from point R is. And we're going to do a similar movement to get A prime. There you go, that is A prime. So again, point A was two unit down, three left from R. We're going to go three right down to get a prime so again it's nothing else than counting uh, units and you can rotate 180 degree or any other uh, number of degree likes 90 and you'll see it to 70 uh, go ahead and try B rotate point B 180 degree around point R And you see now, uh, if you want to check your work, that is the point B prime that allowed me to get the segment A prime B prime, and also you can see the original AB. You notice it looks like a rotation of 180 degree around that center of rotation R. And uh, the last one here uh, is uh, rotating the same segment AB 270 degree. And again, we're going to do some counting. Okay, so if you notice the same story, point A is we need to go two units down and three left to get to the point R. That will be that slope of positive two thirds. We need to get a slope of negative three halves to get a perpendicular line or a segment. And you notice I move three units down and two to the right to get A prime. Okay, go ahead and try to get the point B prime.
and you have now the point B prime rotated one, uh, 270 degree around point R. Again, uh, negative 6 over 1. Uh, go 6 down, 1 right. Uh, that would be the slow, uh, the way to go from B, from B to R. And then I move to get a slope of 1 over 6. So I move 1 up, 6 right to get point B prime. And now you see both segments. <clears throat> <laughs> this one, if you remember from the previous video clip, is nothing else than uh, the last problem. Rotating 90 degree clockwise is the same thing with rotating 20, 270 degree counterclockwise. So, see the previous problem? This number 5 goes very well with the rotated 180 degree counterclockwise. And the last one, 270 clockwise, is the same with 90 degree counterclockwise. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more clips. Thank you. Have a great day.